Hey, Glassfoot, how's that latest video cut? What on earth do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm seeing what happens if I stab my knife in my hand. Yes, I can see that. Why? Because I want to see what happens if I stab my knife in my hand. Weren't you gonna film a video about D. Gray Man? Yeah, but I'm bored and don't feel like doing it. I don't care if you're bored and don't want to do it. It's been two weeks. Get to filming. Come on, I don't want to. Get. Fine, I'll film. Fucking chumped up prick. What's up, guys? My name is Glassfoot. And yes, it has been about two weeks since you last saw a video from me. That is because of a few things. Uh, main one being, I started a new job and I'm working a lot and so I just don't have a ton of energy to film stuff when I get back. But I'm going to try and get back on the regular uh, uploading cycle of stuff. I've also kind of just not had a ton of inspiration for what to do for the past couple of weeks. But I wanted to talk about this. So. I, as I have probably talked about on this channel before, am a massive fan of anime. I am a huge fan of a lot of shonen series. And one series I remember very distinctly starting when I was getting back into anime around 2010-11-ish was D. Gray Man. I got into D. Gray Man because I was subscribed to Shonen Jump at the time, uh, the American version of the Jump magazine, which was a monthly thing, and they had a special chapter of D. Gray Man in there. And I read that chapter, thought it was really cool, and decided to check out if there was an anime. And there was! And so I watched it, in the dub. Now, I know some of you are going to lambast me. I actually do not give a flying fuck if it is the dub or the sub version of a show. I just care if I find enjoyment in it, even if it is for the wrong reasons, like ghost stories. But, for whatever reason, when Degreeman was initially getting dubbed by Funimation, they only dubbed the first 52 episodes, which is the first half of the show. So, I never actually finished the original Degreeman show. Until very, very recently. And I have a personal issue with the show, and that is that it is 103 episodes long, yet it still ends in a way that forces you to continue the manga if you want to know more. Now, this is slightly mitigated by the existence of D. Gray Man Hollow, but D. Gray Man Hollow doesn't finish the story. D. Gray Man Hollow also stops, and I'm not blaming, I am partially blaming the anime for this, but it is also, um, the writer of D. Gray Man, uh, has taken multiple breaks from the series, and I believe it is currently on indefinite hiatus. I do not know that one for a fact, but last I checked, uh, yeah, Hollow, uh, D. Gray Man currently is on indefinite hiatus with no idea of when it will return, so the likelihood of us getting a completed adaptation of D. Gray Man as it exists in manga form now is not very likely. Uh, personally, I would like to see once D. Gray Man ends, if it ever does, it to get just an adaptation from the beginning that it takes all of it into account and ignores the filler from like the first half of the show. For whatever reason, the original show, like half of the first 50 episodes are freaking filler arcs. They're good filler arcs, but they're still filler arcs and I found them annoying, cause filler. Anyway, that's not what I'm here to talk about. What I want to talk about is the ending of D. Gray Man. Specifically the original series, I'm still working my way through Hollow as of the moment of recording this, but the original ending of D. Gray Man gets on my nerves a lot for a couple of reasons. I think the biggest one being my biggest problem with a lot of seasonal anime or anime that get adapted but then they never finish the adaptation. <sighs> the read the manga ending where it ends, but it ends in such a way that there's obviously more to tell to the story. So you kind of just are left in this stuck rut where you kind of have to pick up the manga to read it if you want to see what happens next. And that's where I currently am with D. Grayman. If I want to continue, I kind of have to pick up the manga and continue on from there. Now, not to say the original ending to D. Grayman is awful. It just leaves so many plot threads open that it very obviously wasn't the original intended ending of the series. And I'm gonna say that this is a problem with taking the, an adaptation of something and adapting it whilst it's coming out initially. Same re same thing happened along with Fullman Alchemist where the original ending they had to completely change because the series wasn't done yet. Now, to be fair, I think Bones did a fantastic job with the ending of Full Metal Alchemist, the original series. I actually like the original Full Metal Alchemist, and I will watch it 
along with Brotherhood because I think they're both good. They both are telling two different versions of the story, so I find enjoyment in both of them, personally. Uh, though I think my biggest issue with the Degree Man ending is just how much it feels like that you need to finish and read the manga if you want to continue the story. The only reason I have such an issue with that is that it's 103 episodes long. Degree Man, I feel like, could have been cut shorter. I feel like it could have been at least 25 episodes shorter, if not about half the length. Uh, tighten up a lot of the storytelling, condense a lot of stuff that happens into it, and tell the same story in a significantly shorter amount of time than what it takes in the original anime. Because in the original, spoilers for D. Gray Man, uh, just going forward, though I assume if you're watching a video on the ending of D. Gray Man, you have some idea of what I'm going to be talking about. The third season of D. Gray Man, episodes 52, I believe, to uh, 77, I want to say? At the beginning of that, Alan loses his left arm and he effectively loses his innocence. Now, uh, when his innocence gets pulverized, it actually stays in a crystallite, in a more dust form around him, and he's eventually able to get it back in with really cool new power with the Clown Crown, which is honestly one of my favorite things. It looks dope, and I love it. But so he is out of commission for at least the first half of the third season, only coming in towards the very end to help lead into the Noah's Ark arc. Lena Lee, on the other hand, she releases her innocence to an insane degree and causes physical damage to her own person, again, towards the beginning of season three. Now, this causes her to be unable to synchronize with the dark boots with her innocence. Uh, the problem being let more that her dark boots aren't letting her synchronize because they are supposedly getting ready to evolve. Now, the damage caused to her puts Lena Lee out of commission for a majority of seasons three and four. She's unable to fight and contribute really in a combative role throughout the majority of season three and four. During the Edo and Noah's Ark arc, she is effectively just a useless baggage. And I'm not saying it. Lena Lee is amazing. I love her character. I actually really like the arc that she went through with her being unable to help and support her friends because she legitimately views all of her friends as family. And so it hurt her. It hurt her a lot. But still, it they took her out of a combative role for the majority of season three and four. And then towards the end of season four, she takes her innocence, gets it back, ingests it, and she gets her new form of the dark boots. She gets her new form of the dark boots maybe three, two or three episodes before the end of the show. She like gets this new ability and then we don't get to ever see it used outside of taking out one level four Akuma, which was awesome. The fight was amazing, but you know, I would have loved to see more of that ability. I would have loved to see her get used to it, see them continue on. And it just, especially towards the end of the Gray Man, the show started feeling very slow, feeling like they were dragging out certain events to either increase the artificiality of how you felt about X situation or making it feel like you had less control over what was occurring, if that makes any sense at all. Basically, it just, it felt drawn out to a ridiculous degree that it didn't need to be drawn out to in my personal opinion. And that I think hampers the final two seasons of D. Grayman. Not to a degree that I dislike the show. I still sat through 103 episodes of the original and I'm still currently watching D. Grayman Hollow. I just think that you took characters out of combat and then instantly put a bigger threat in place, which no, that's not bad, but you did it specifically to give cert to give Lena Lee her new power up, and then we don't actually get to see what happens from there. Again, that issue has been mitigated with Hollow. But also, there was stuff that had just been revealed that somehow Alan had a connection to the family of Noah, that somehow Alan and Mana even had some connection to this mysterious 14th member of the Noah family. And it was unclear how. Again, you would have to have read the manga or Hollow reveals that Alan is the reincarnation of the 14th. And so that gives him some modicum of control over the arc. But it also gives a really fun story where Alan has to figure out which memories are his, which are not, and just 
it's entertaining to me personally to see that kind of stuff happen. And it just makes me personally saddened that if I had finished the original D. Gray Man, I probably wouldn't have known that. I probably would have stopped with the story where it was thinking, oh, they're just going to continue to fight the Earl. But even then, there is... There are scenes where we see the Earl and the other Noah family basically saying, hey, we're going to continue this fight, implying that there was more to the story. And so the fact that 103 ends in such a way that makes me feel like the story was incomplete just personally doesn't work for me, and I wish it hadn't. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if Degree Man Hollow is going to have that same issue again, still watching it, but... I don't know. The ending to the original D. Gray Man for me is personally a bit of a lackluster ending with there being very obvious story threads that wanted to be continued but weren't and so yeah. But I don't know. Maybe you felt a different way if you did finish D. Gray Man. Potentially you thought very differently than me and you thought the ending was really good for what we got. I just personally would have loved to see more from a shonen that was over 103 episodes and not feel like it was ending at the beginning of an arc effectively. That, that, you, you know, the end and beginning of an arc, they kind of sometimes feel like they're merging, but that. That's how I personally feel about uh, D. Gray Man and its ending. But... Let me pass the question over to you guys. What did you all think? Did you think the Degree Man ending was good or bad? And uh, what are your all your thoughts on that? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope that you all enjoyed that video from me. Bit of a rant. Hopefully I liked that and didn't feel too rambly. Either way, I enjoy most of these filming. Hopefully I'll be able to get more videos out to you guys in the future. But for now, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter or Instagram, links to both of those are going to be in the description down below as always. And as always, guys, have a fantastic day and peace out.